Okay guys, this is the Yeba Ace K1. It's a brand new projector that was just released. This has been advertised as the best home cinema projector under $800. Take a look at the link down below to look at the latest pricing information and also an exclusive discount code for you guys so you can get this cheaper than everyone else. Let's take a look at the specifications quickly. This is native 1080p by design, but it upscales to 4K absolutely fine. And it has a very hi-fi loud 15 watt stereo speakers inbuilt into this, which is actually quite louder than I've seen in a lot of projector reviews. Now take a look at the screenshot on your screen now for the full list of the specifications of this projector. One of the things I really like about this is this brightness level at 650 ANSI lumens. This is the brightest projector I've ever reviewed and I've reviewed a lot of them. This is even brighter than a lot of the premium competitors out there and I'm super excited to see how this performs in both daylight and in darkness. You can see this has a contrast ratio of 1600 to 1 which really will make the colors pop and be more vibrant and it can go up to a maximum of 150 inches for the projection size. This does have Bluetooth 5.0 so if you wanted to connect it to different devices such as a soundbar, headphones or anything else just to get you the full cinematic experience you can absolutely do that this has wi-fi 6 and it is dual band so 2.4 and 5 gigahertz connections if you wanted to wirelessly connect to this maybe from your iphone your ipad or any other wireless devices then you can connect that very easily with very low latency one of the key things I really look for in every projector review is autofocus and auto keystone correction, which this does have. And that goes a really long way for you to position your projector in pretty much any angle and elevation to make sure you get the perfect picture. Let's take a look at what's inside the box. So in this brand kit envelope, you get yourself the user manual and a warranty card. In the accessories box, you get a microfiber cloth, a HDMI to HDMI cable, a three in one AV cable, the remote control and the power plug. Let's just take a quick look at the remote. Pretty standard buttons, as you can expect. This one in the middle here, you've got a little instruction there. If you press that for three seconds, you can control the autofocus and auto keystone if you do want to do that and make any adjustments. It requires two AAA batteries, which do not come included. Now this is the projector itself. It's a very heavy duty, large design because it does pack in a lot of features into this. It has this great fabric design at the top, which I think is really nice. It's got a lens cap cover there, which you can just take off like this. But the overall design on this is a full sealed optical engine technology that protects against dust and black spots so that you don't have any problems when you are watching this for very long periods of time over an extended length of time. So let's just take a look at some of the buttons and ports. You have these touch screen buttons at the top here. So you've got the menu directional buttons, the OK, Enter, Source, Menu and Power. At the back of the projector, you've got your headphone port, AV port, two USBs and two HDMIs. I will be connecting one of the HDMI ports with my Apple TV to give you some sample demos and showcase how the video and audio quality is on this projector. Just remember, if you are watching this video, it's best heard using headphones yourself, just so you can get an idea of how clear the audio is. And just remember, the video quality on how I see it in person will be slightly different to how you guys are seeing it on whichever device you're watching this YouTube video on. So just bear that in mind, but hopefully this gives you a very clear idea of the capability of the Yeba Ace K1. So let's go ahead and set this up, check out the autofocus auto keystone, run through the menu settings and go straight into the demos. Okay, so I've powered up the projector. This is the main screen. And before I go into some of the settings and the options here, I just wanted to test out the autofocus and auto keystone. So as you can see, if I move this around, it will automatically go into the focusing and the keystone correction by itself without having to use the remote control. If I just move it back, it will try to do that itself. And I think that's a very great option to have as well, just in case you don't get it slightly angled correctly, then you can keep repositioning it until it actually comes out the way you want it. If it doesn't, you can go into manual correction and just adjust it however you like. I think this looks fine. This is around 100 inches, which for me is actually a very good size and it is very clear. As you can see, it's very daylit in this room as well, but the brightness on this, which I really want to keep highlighting, the 650 ANSI lumens, I think is doing a very great job. Most of the projectors I reviewed range from about 300 to 400 ANSI lumens and in daylight, it's very dim and I can't really see too much of it. 
this gives me comfortability knowing that I could actually watch something on this, a TV show or a movie in daylight without having to worry about closing all of the light sources and closing all my shutters in the room to make it basically blackout, which I think is absolutely great. In terms of the fan noise, there is quite a bit of fan noise coming from it. It is quite a large projector. That's something you'd have to just bear in mind. But I would also recommend if you do connect this to a Bluetooth speaker, this will kind of drown out any of the fan noise that you might hear. And it also depends on the distance of the projector from wherever you're watching it from. But let's go ahead and play back some videos because the speakers on this are going to be loud enough that it will drown out pretty much all of the fan noise because they do pack a punch and you'll see that from the demo. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. But before we do that, let's dive into more of the settings that you see on the main OS built into the projector. Okay, so from the home screen, you can see there's four large options here for video, music, photo, and office suite. This is if you want to connect a USB, then you can add some of these files. Office suite, if you wanted to load some presentations and use this for business or in the office, that's what you would use this for. You have the option here to just kick in the autofocus and auto keystone correction by itself by selecting the button there. You have your HDMI sources. This does have iOS cast and mirror cast. So if you connect it to Wi-Fi, you can very easily screen mirror. And because of the Wi-Fi 6 inbuilt to it, it will be quite fast with a very low latency. Let's jump into the settings. So you have six main settings here. If you go into Wi-Fi, this is where you'll be able to connect to your Wi-Fi. Bluetooth, connect to any external Bluetooth devices. Projection, you can change the projection mode. So in case you wanted to ceiling mount this, you can absolutely do that with the screws underneath the projector. And you can change the positions of where you would like to position the projector itself. Automatic keystone, I've set that to on. Manual keystone, if you go into here, you'll be able to correct that in the four keystone points yourself. Automatic focus is on, as well as manual focus. If you go into digital zoom, you can actually zoom in if you wanted to reduce or go in a little bit further for the size to match your projection screen. And then you also have correction settings, which you can use here to just adjust that focus and the keystone settings from that side. If you're going to update, this is where you can do an online update of the firmware of the projector. If you're going to advance, a bit more on the power options, language settings, and all those additional settings that you may or may not use. And then finally, about which is key information about the device. So that's the OS, it's very simple. There's no inbuilt Android TV or anything like that. So I'm going to connect my Apple TV to HDMI one and jump in to the video and audio demos for you. But I will also make it darkened in the room. So I will close all my shutters, make sure there's no light source coming in to give you guys the best quality on how that looks. And at the end of the video, I will open the shutters and just play some background videos with some light sources coming in in case you wanted to play anything during the daytime. Okay, I've turned off all of the light sources. It's very dark in the room and this is extremely bright. So I've loaded up my Apple TV. Let's jump into some demos that I've got from YouTube. I saw how clear that quality was. The brightness on this just makes it so much more easier and clearer and sharper to see all the pictures. And alongside that 1600 by one contrast ratio, I can't find any faults with this. This is very, very clear. And even though I have made it very dark in this, I can still see it being very clear, even if I did have some light sources coming into the room. And one thing I did notice is when the video was playing back, the music I was hearing, it did drown out the fan noise completely. So the fan noise did not become so much of an issue. I just want you guys to hear how this potentially sounds when you are watching this 
with dialogue and sound effects with your TV shows and movies. So I'm going to play this demo now and if you have some headphones, make sure to put them in to get the best listening experience of how this projector sounds. This is Dolby Cinema. It's where the most advanced cinematic technology you've ever experienced begins. This is Dolby Atmos. The number of speakers around you no longer matters because this is the world's first object-based cinematic audio with powerful moving audio that transcends from channels to moving around you with 10-point accuracy. Soundscape sits the mood of the scene. Come on, you guys, let's go. Or captures the full extent <laughs> of nature's fury. This, it's just the beginning of Dolby Vision. Because what you thought was black isn't. This is black. This is contrast that reveals details deeper than any image you've seen on a screen. This is luminance that means the difference between white and pure energy. Energy that is about to reveal an entire universe of color you've never experienced in the cinema. So there you have it guys. My final thoughts on this, ultimately the 650 ANSI lumens of brightness is actually brighter than some of the more expensive competitors out there, which actually makes this a really good option to replace the TV completely because this would look great in both daylight and darkness. Along with the 1601 contrast ratio, it helps the colors pop and look more vibrant as you can even see in these clips here that I'm showing you on screen. The sound quality from the set of 15 watt stereo speakers is more than enough for you to enjoy your TV shows and movies at decent volume levels. I had it around 70, 75, and it was more than loud enough to basically fill the room with really great audio and hi-fi speakers just to make sure it sounds exactly as you expect from getting a home cinematic type experience. So ultimately, is it value for money? Given all of the specs that this projector has and alongside my special discount coupon code for you guys in the description, this for me is great value for money, especially as a long-term home cinema or TV replacement setup. If there's anything else you guys want to know or find out information about this projector, drop a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I review projectors all the time and I have a full playlist of my previous projector reviews which you can find down below. Make sure to subscribe, I have new videos out every week which I'm sure you're going to like and I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.